Uh, anytime you're ready. I'm sorry, right. I'm just. Uh, so, uh, assignments just to get to know one of the professors that we have, whether it's uh, any any professor in general. Sure. So I chose I chose you because so I I view in a lot of most things, of yeah. <laughs> most of my classes. So I want to get to a little bit more about you. Okay. Um. So, uh, what made you decide to become a music educator? Well, I always knew I wanted to teach. Mm -hmm. And when I, when I was in high school, I had sort of, well, after, you know, after you go, after I realized I couldn't be a fighter pilot, you know, you, <laughs> you, uh, you know, um, start thinking about what you're really going to do. And I always knew I wanted to teach and I had kind of thought about, for a while I was going to teach Spanish. I did really well in Spanish in high school. Mm -hmm. Then I was really gonna. I was really into uh, science and chemistry, and I was like, okay, I can be a chemistry teacher. That'd be awesome. But then it kind of occurred to me from my sophomore, junior year that you know, um, I'm having the best time here in in band, and um, I, I really looked up to my. I had two band directors, so I really looked up to them a lot. They were they were very good, mm -hmm. and. Um, and I said, you know, well, what if I could help create this experience for, you know, people just like they do for me? So then that was pretty yeah. much it. Yeah. Um, person, I share a lot of that, too. My parents are both teachers. Um, yeah. My dad, well, he used to teach. He taught high school math. And then uh, now he uh, helps teachers with technology. So oh, in, like, high cool. school, yeah. so when uh, school districts would get new technology and things, so he'd be there on the, on the instructional side, and then my mm -hmm. mom teaches elementary. So uh, I get a lot of that. So like, mm -hmm. been helping out my parents since I was like five, oh, helping nice. out in the classroom, things like that. So it was always something I wanted to yeah, do. You feel at home in the classroom. Yeah, yeah. absolutely. Yeah. Um, let's see. Um, what other schools did you taught? Did you teach at? Higher ed or whatever, or, or just whatever. Yeah. So my first teaching job was in Houston, Texas, and I taught fifth and sixth grade band during the day, and then at night I was the fourth assistant band director for a giant Texas competitive marching band. It was mm. the whole thing. Uh, <laughs> and then after my master's degree, I taught five through eight during the day and was a high school band director for marching band at night. Right. And then uh, after that, I moved to higher education, where I. Um, I, at Syracuse, I was the director of athletic bands, similar position to what I have now, uh, and then I came here in 2017. Yeah. What made you like try to uh, want to move up with your education? Uh, you mean my own personal education or the level I taught? Uh, personal education. So in New York, um, so I taught in Texas, and I was like, well, I don't, I don't want to live in Texas. Texas is like all our country, <laughs> and. Mm -hmm. uh, um, and I'm from New York, so I, you know, I, I went back to do my master's degree because I was like, well, I, I don't want to be in the Northeast. And in most states in the Northeast, you are required to have a master's degree after a certain amount of time teaching. Okay. So I knew that I was going to have to get one anyway, so I was like, well, let me get it now and then get it out of the way. Okay. <laughs> that's, that's and then nice. I continued on to a doctorate because I had moved up to higher education and I realized that if I wanted to advance my career in higher education, mm -hmm. I would need a doctorate. So in, during band, you said that you're a bassoon player. So it, is it like something that came out right, of, right out of the blue? You end up playing bassoon, or no? I, uh, I started on alto saxophone. Okay. And I and I was I was pretty good at it. Like in like when I was in fourth grade, they put me in like the sixth grade group because you know I was I was I, I don't mean to like brag because I was I was like nine years old, but for that age, I was real good, you know. And sure. <laughs> yeah. um, and and I was actually you know it's funny, I was actually getting really bored with playing the saxophone when I got into junior high. Um, and I was like in seventh grade and I remember kind of thinking, eh, do I really want to do band? And I started in eighth grade and I was like, yeah, it's not really getting any better. I was kind of bored with this. And then they asked me if I wanted to switch to bassoon in the middle of that year. And, um, <laughs> and I was like, all right, whatever. <laughs> and <laughs> what was cool about that is, um, I had to, so like, you know, alto saxophone reads treble clef, bassoon reads bass clef, right? Mm -hmm. Like, new instrument. I had to essentially start from zero, right? Sure. So all of a sudden, I was not bored. I was, like, immensely challenged, sure. you know? And, yeah. and I, I like that. That sort of, like, rekindled my band fire, you know, just having to learn sure. a new instrument and, yeah. um, and and go through all of that. And and I, I, I like, really dug into it. I really liked it. But then I got into ninth grade, I was, I was like, really fired up. <laughs> and then you can go back to alto sax for like marching band, yeah, that's jazz what I did, ensembles, yeah. tenor sax, and stuff sure, like that. That yeah, drum major and things like that. Yeah. That's awesome. Um, 
Uh, has there ever been any moments through either um, as you've been performing or just in your teaching career that's been like really memorable? Or oh, anything? sure. Yeah. Um, I've had a few concerts in my career uh, at Syracuse and here um, that have been just really transcendently good. You mm -hmm. know, just real high level music and um, just just amazing like moments, you know, that, that you create in, with an ensemble. Uh, mm -hmm. uh, our last concert, Spring Semester with the Symphonic Band was one of those, and it was, it was just really quite good. Um, and then like from, like in Marching Band uh, at Syracuse, our Marching Band did pregame at Super Bowl 48. Wow. Yeah, that was, that was sort of a, a thing. Uh, <laughs> wow. <laughs> yeah. Uh, the, watching the PMB in Ireland last semester, you know. Um, yeah, I mean, I'm, I'm fortunate enough to have those moments, if not regularly, often enough that, <laughs> you know, <laughs> yeah. um, you know, because I'm, I'm still uh, very much engaged with, mm -hmm. you know, music and teaching and things like that. And like, I'm not, I'm not burnt out, you know, mm -hmm. um, so, so uh, I'm still open to having that kind of an experience. Yeah. Which is nice. <laughs> yeah. Mm -hmm. So out of, out of, for being a music edu educator, what kind of, what's, what's kind of the overall big goal that you want to have for your students? Oh, wow. So there's several goals. Um, from a musical perspective, like a purely musical perspective, I want to pursue perfection and tolerate excellence, right? Mm -hmm. Like I want us always to be, you know, chasing it, <laughs> right? Yep. you know, and, and just get the highest level of like artistry and, and music making that we can, like all the time, mm -hmm. right? Um, and then, uh, and then just sort of more globally, um, what I would like to do is, my job as an educator here is to help students become the people they want to be, right? Sure. As musicians, exactly. as educators, as people, right? All, all my students in the PMB who are, who are studying Lord knows what, you know, across campus, like, mm -hmm. I'm, I'm trying to help them become, <laughs> you know, whatever, right? And, um, and that, that is something I'm always, always, always thinking about and, and working on. That's awesome. Um, uh, taking a step outside of the classroom, uh, what, what else, what kind of things do you like to do in your free time? <laughs> well, I don't have a lot of free time these days having a toddler, but um, I am an avid video gamer. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm a big old nerd, and I'm into, uh, I'm into all kinds of like role playing and science fiction games and stuff like that. I play Final mm -hmm. Fantasy fourteen, which is an MMO. I don't know if you know video games that well, but it's a massively multiplayer online game. You know, um, for years and like, um, yeah, I play, I play all those nerdy games and stuff like that. And I like TV and movies, same thing, like sci-fi, fantasy stuff like that. My wife's into it too, so we, we watch a lot of stuff together. Um, I like to bike. I'm on my bike, and in this area, there's like hundreds of miles of trails. Yeah. So I'm I'm out there whenever I can. It is awesome. Like they're really nice, mm -hmm. and um, and uh, yeah, I just I play with my kid and watch him grow up, and he's really funny. And <laughs> so yeah, when my when my dad went to college, he would uh, run on the trails here as well. Yeah, uh, he trained for quite a few marathons. He he he's ran six marathons. Oh wow! So it's. Um, yeah, I'm not gonna make. I'm not gonna, gonna make it to one marathon. Yeah, I'm not much of a runner either. <laughs> oh, but I did run cross country in high school. Oh, that's good. It was yeah. it was fun enough the way it was. Sure. Um, outside of like what we uh, play in band, is there any other type of genre of music that you like to listen to? Oh, sure. I I listen to a lot of weird stuff. Um, so like it just so like the the mainstream stuff that I like. My guilty pleasure is like bad pop punk music. You sure. know, so like I love all that stuff. It's terrible, but, but that explains so much. Yeah, I, I, listen to, <laughs> I listen to it all the time. And I, I listen to like chip tune and stuff like that, and mm -hmm. electronic music, and uh, a lot of soundtracks and scores and things like that. Hello, what can I do for you? I'm gonna <laughs> go ahead. I just got an email to call Des Moines. Okay. So I'm gonna do that right now. Great. All right. All right. I look forward to it. <laughs> yeah. Also, enjoy looking. Um... Like, um, like parts of the Caribbean music, yeah, or sure. like those scores, or um, like see the movie Transformers, the score yeah. for that's awesome. Sure. Yeah, um, yeah, you know, I um, 
I, uh, I like a lot of world music too. I listen to a lot of like Celtic and um, sure. Gaelic traditional yeah. and folk music and um, American folk music too. Uh, not really much in the country, but like mm -hmm. there, there's a certain sort of like old American sound that in, intrigues me. Yeah. You know? um, so yeah, I, I, have, I have some pretty eclectic tastes. I like, I like old school 80s hip hop. <laughs> that narrows it. <laughs> um, yeah. So yeah, I'm I'm kind of all over the place, but you mm -hmm. know, well, that, and uh, that that's why I listen to when I'm not listening to you know, wind music or work or anything. <laughs> so, uh, what are you looking forward to in the future? Like, what what's kind of your next step? Like, well, uh, the PMB has some exciting things happening next yeah. season. Uh, I'm looking forward to those, and I'm looking forward to, um, I'm looking forward to what Dr. Galleon and I will be able to achieve in the band program here. We've known each other a long time. I always wanted to work together, and uh, that's why I came out here. And um, and our ability to, you know, really get this band program on the map is proceeding well. And uh, I, I think we have a very high ceiling here uh, mm -hmm. for all of our band things and. And I'm, I'm really interested and excited to see where that goes and what happens with that. And we're doing it, which is good. So. Uh, where'd you first meet Dr. Galleon? Uh, in graduate school, we did our master's degrees together. So oh, okay. I first met him in 2002. Okay. <laughs> so just kind of kept uh, in yeah, touch with yeah. each other. Yeah, and... we've been friends a long time. Okay. <laughs> That's awesome. I don't have any more questions. At this. Okay. It's... Well, thanks for picking me to be your man. Yeah, there. no problem. All right. Looking forward for tonight for marching band. Oh yeah, be fun. Oh yeah, I'm excited for the show. Oh, it'll it'll, it'll be good. Yeah, I, I I really like the Earth, Wind, and Fire show. Sure, yeah, that was great. It, music. it was fun, even even with it was a different kind of vibe, but it was that right kind of vibe that they had. the 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 music was was just right. Well, yeah, yeah, it's great. It's great stuff. And the cool thing about Earth, Wind, and Fire is like it's timeless. You know, like it, people of all ages oh, yeah. like it and can get into it. And, mm -hmm. Um. That that's one of my one of my favorite things about it. So even that week, I was just listening to Earth, Wind, and Fire for that whole entire week. And sure, I yeah. Get that in my head. Yeah. Yeah. It's, All right. It's a fun well, thanks for coming in. All right, no problem. I'll talk to you later. Right. Have a great day, and I'll see you this evening. Yep. You too.